Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful Santa's hat earrings. They are made with the beads that my friends from BB Craft were so kind to send me for testing. If you want to see the unboxing tutorial of all the beads and supplies they send me, check it here at the eye icon. You could definitely skip this intro if you want, but I have just a few words to say. The first one is to subscribe because I will have more and more Christmas tutorials and you will be able to make the presents for your friends in time. You will be inspired often, usually twice a week. What else uh, I want to tell you is down there in description, you will find a full list of materials with links to the BBCraft uh, website and a special coupon code that you could use if you decide to order. And what else I wanted to tell you is that now there is a new feature to become a member of this channel. You could see more down there in description in the link and here at the eye icon. And of course you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that you could also find in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Toho beads that are with cylindrical shape and I was dying to try them making brick stitch projects like this one here that I'm showing. They are close as a shape to Mayuki Delica and Aiko Treasuries so they worked perfectly for the brick stitch. Here I'm using earring findings in this really light silver color that I used from the BB Craft supplies as I told you. This color. And just to show you uh, how the beads came, here they are. I mean the Toho beads. And what else I'm using here is this nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters of thickness or size D. Uh, this is a pattern that I'm using and that I created myself, especially for this project. If you want to know how to make your own beading pattern, you could see it here. I'm using size 10 beading needle and I'm also using scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and today we are making Santa's hat. Uh, I will show you this pattern in the tutorial and here at this corner. And now how we are going to start. Don't worry if you're not familiar with the brick stitch. I'm showing it even for beginners. Okay, I will start with this row of six white beads and how I'm going to add them. I will take first two. I'm going to slide those down. Here I want to leave a small tail because later I will put my needle on it and I will finish my work from this side. Okay, so as I have this, I'm exiting through one of the beads and I'm going through the other one. And I'm pulling. Then what I do is that I reinforce this joint here between those two beads. Now I have two of them together next to each other. Okay, then I go through the second one and I'm taking one more bead and I go back in circle through this one. Then I go through this one again and I want to add six beads next to each other. You see the holes are pointing in this direction and they are touching side to side. So this is only the first row will be like this. The next rows will be different. Okay. And fifth and sixth the same way. Okay. 
okay now I have my six beads next to each other and what I want to do is reinforce this row okay now I have this six beads next to each other now I'm going to take my pattern and here in this row in the next row that you could see also here I'm going to add nine beads and I'm going to add them with the brick stitch so how I do this in my first step I will be taking two beads and because I expand or I increase I will be going through the first thread bridge you see there are small thread bridges here and I'm going through the first one if you are familiar with the brick stitch here you won't have something new and then you go through the bit that is closer to the center of your work okay this one let's say okay up to here it's okay and now we added this bit and this bit but as you may see here is one more bit that is why what I'm going to do is come from this one and add it okay this is expanding or increasing but with one more bit okay so what I do here is that I take this one and add it like this like I was showing you in the first row okay I'm adding it here just like this you see they are next to each other but they need reinforcing okay so as I add it I'm going one more time through this one to reinforce my joint and pull tight then backwards through this one through the second one and then again to, through the one that is closer to the center okay what I do is continue adding white beads okay here and I'm going in the next thread bridge and I add it now I have four seed beads and I will continue until I'm out of thread bridges one two three okay I will add three more faster okay and here at the last thread bridge I will be adding one more bead here in the same place at the last thread bridge I'm adding two beads okay I'm adding them the same way and I'm pulling just to tighten them up okay and you see guys as I added this one I need one more after that you see my pattern here I need to add one more bead after that okay this one I'm added I just added this one and I need to add this one and I'm adding it the same way as I added this one okay like that okay guys and I now I want to make some thread repositioning before I start my next row okay I'm going here through these two beads like this my goal is to exit out of this bead in this direction okay so I'm going like this then I go through this one and through the same bead and now when I exit here and then I exit here I reposition my thread so I'm exiting in this direction through this bead okay and now I will be making increasing brick stitch so I will add these two beads and I will add them at the first thread bridge that I have and in the next row in this row I have one more bead than the previous row so I have 10 seed beads 
Okay, how I add them? I take two seed beads. I go under this thread bridge here, the first one. And then I go through the same, uh, through the bit that is closer to the center of my work. And then guys, I will continue adding more and more beads. In my other brick stitch projects, if you have watched them, I was turning my work around, but in this one I won't because there is no symmetry between the two parts of my pattern. If you don't understand what I just said, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. So in this pattern I will be working in both directions, from here to here and from here to here. Okay, now guys, I will continue this until the end of this row, until I have nine beads here added and I will come back for the tent. Okay, and now here I have nine beads added. I'm taking here the tent one and I'm going under this thread bridge here and backwards through this seed bead okay now i have my 10 beads added and what i have in my next row again i have increasing brick stitch and again i have one more bead than the previous row so here i will have 11 beads okay and i start this time from here take two go through the first thread bridge because I'm expanding or increasing and go through the bit that is closer to the center. Okay. Now continue until you have 10 beads and add them one by one. And I will be back for the last step of this row to tell you what's coming up next. Just continue adding beads until you're out of thread bridges. Okay guys, and now I have 10 white beads and I need to have 11 according to my pattern. That is why I'm taking one bead here and I'm adding it in the same thread bridge that I added the one before that. Okay, now I have this. And now guys, I'm going to start my next row. And this row here is with 10 beads, white, eight red beads and one white bead. First, I'm going to take a white and a red bead. And I take a white and a red. And this time, because I decrease, I will go under the second thread bridge. You see the thread bridges? This is the first, this is the second, and I'm going under the second thread bridge here. Then through the bit that is closer to the center of my work, which is the red one. And then I will make an additional reinforcement going again through the white and again through the red. Then one by one, I will be adding eight red beads. I have two. This means I will be adding six more red beads and one white. And when I add them, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I hope you pause this video and you add it one by one at each thread bridge eight of these beautiful red beads and the last one which is white now here is a tricky part pay attention here is my pattern and i'm at this row now i need to add a row of only red beads seven red beads and i'm going to start this time from this red bead so my thread should be exiting out of this red bead but in this direction you see in this direction 
Okay, so how I make my thread go out of this red bead in this direction. I go like this through the red and through the white diagonally. Then through the next white and through this red again diagonally. Now what we have here, again I'm coming up with my pattern with the seven red beads that I need to add. If I take this row of red beads, according to them this is decreasing. Here I have seven and here I had eight beads. So what should we do? Always start the next row with two beads and then continue one by one. So I'm taking first two and because I decreased compared to these eight red beads, I'm going here in the second thread bridge. Okay, like this. And because I decrease, I will go around them like this because they stretch otherwise and don't look good they stay wonky somehow and that is why I need to reinforce them and make them stay nice next to each other. Now after that I will continue adding one by one until I have seven beads in total and when I have them I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I just added my last seventh bead from this row. And now I want to take my pattern and see what is my next row. And my next row is this one. You see here I also have seven beads, but I'm increasing from one side and increasing from the other side. And how I do this? Because I'm increasing from this side, I want to take two red beads. Always start with two. And because I increase, as you may see from the pattern, I go through the first thread bridge. Okay. And then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, you see. So according to my pattern, I need to add seven beads, so it is five more beads in this direction. Or I'm adding beads until I am out of thread bridges. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last bead at my last thread bridge. And you see here, because from this side I decrease, I do not add one more bead at the last thread bridge. And when I don't add one more bead at the last thread bridge, this is what I have. The third red row is ready. And now I have regular decreasing brick stitch with six beads here in this row i have seven and the next one is with six and the next one is with five and i'm decreasing all the time since i decrease and i have regular decreasing row i take two beads and i go under the second thread bridge Go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. Go here through the first one again, because you know only when I decrease, I go around twice through the first two beads that I add. And now add four more beads and I'll be back. And here is the last six bead that I'm adding at the last thread bridge. And I'm not adding any more beads here. Okay. Now in my next step I have regular uh, decreasing brick stitch consisting of one, two, three, four, five beads. Okay, so I'm here 
and I take two beads. I go under the second thread bridge because I decrease and I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And then I go back and reinforce because you know I decrease as I mentioned and like this. Then I will show you how I'm adding one more bead. And the next two beads I'll show you faster. Okay, now I have this. And in my next row, guys, I will be making here this decreasing, but it is with two beads, not with one. That is why I must reposition my thread to exit out of this bead here, which is the second thread bead of my row, and to point in this direction. Okay, how I do this? I want to exit through this second bead in this direction with my thread. That is why I go diagonally through these two beads. Then through the neighbor one and again diagonally through this one. Okay. Now I'm where I want to be. Now I take my pattern and here I need one, two, three, four beads to add. And how I add them, I take two. And here I decrease. That is why I go through the second thread bridge of where I am. I'm here, this is one and this is second thread bridge. And I go like this, then I go through the one that is closer to the center, then backwards through this bead. And again through this, you know I decrease, that is why I'm doing it. Then I'm going to take just one red bead and I go through the next thread bridge. And if you remember the pattern, I have four beads in this row and the last one is sticking out of my work, so I'm increasing. That is why I'm going to add one more bead at the last thread bridge here. Okay, and I have this row of four beads. Then I have a regular decreasing row of three beads, this one here. So as I'm exiting here, I will take two beads and I will go not through the first thread bridge, but through the second one. You see? Go through the one that's closer to the center of my work and reinforce. Then add just one bead. Okay, then again I have a row of three beads. First I'm decreasing and then I'm increasing. And how I do this, I take two beads. And because I decrease from this side, I go through the second thread bridge here. Not through the first one, but through the second. Through the one that's closer to the center, reinforce. And add one more at this last thread bridge. Okay. In this way, I'm adding the same number of beads, but with a shift to this side. Here I decrease and here I increase. Okay, so I'm here. Now I need to add three again. I will add them by here increasing and here adding one more bead. Okay, now I have a white and a red. You see, I'm first taking this white and this red and I increase. How I increase? I go through the very first thread bridge here like this. 
then through the one that is closer to the center of my work, then through the next one. And then according to my pattern here, I need one more white bead. And I'm going to add one more white bead like this and like this. Okay, if you want, you could reinforce this. Now, what I need to add are three white beads. Here I'm increasing and here I am decreasing. So three white beads, I first take two of them and from this side I'm increasing. So I'm going through the first thread bridge and through the one that is closer to the center. And then I take just one white bead. Okay, again, I'm adding three beads with a shift to one side. Here I increase and here I decrease. And now I need to add my last two beads here with in decreasing. So I'm taking those two beads. These are the last two beads. And as I'm here, I go through the second thread bridge like this. Then through the one that is closer to my thread and my needle. And then what I want to take is my earring finding. Okay, here it is. And I'm going directly through it like this. And then I go through the next white bit and then like this. Okay, and I pull. I have it here and what I want to do is reinforce this joint. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go here in this direction and go in the work itself like this and after zigzagging through the beads a little bit let's say like this You could cut your thread as close as possible to your work. Okay, like this. Now guys, put your needle on this side of your work and then zigzag through it. And after that, cut your thread. Okay guys, and now my Santa's head earrings made with Toho beads from my friends from BB Craft are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And there is a new feature. You could become a member of my channel now. Click the join button or find a link below to see what it is about. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.